Hi, and welcome to this presentation of our paper, Changing of the Guards, Certificate and Public Key Management on the Internet. My name is Carl Magnus Brunner, and I'm one of the co-authors of this paper. With this paper, we make two main contributions. One is a novel characterization of certificate replacements, or CRs, including the reuse of public keys. This shows characteristics in terms of management, lack of standards, and some general trends and differences. The other is a proposal of an efficient solution to the revocation problem that currently leaves web users vulnerable long after certificates has been revoked. In order for you to have a secure and trusted connection when browsing the web, certificate authorities, CAs, issue certificates to servers with a private key for encryption and a public key for the client to use for decryption. The client can also verify that this is indeed a valid certificate and issued by a CA trusted by the client. For PAM2022.nl, we have Let's Encrypt as the issuing CA and a validity time ending in April. What we specifically look at in this paper is what happens when this certificate is replaced. When is it replaced? With what is it replaced? And so on. Our proposal then looks at how to efficiently handle the situation if this certificate is compromised or revoked for some reason. So in short, what did we do? Well, we used a data set from Rapid7's Project Sonar where we looked at certificates observed through HTTPS handshaking on port 443. The scans was performed every other week for several years. From the certificates, we extracted metrics used for our study, such as subject, issuer, validity period, etc. We then enhanced this data with observational data, such as IP address and observation time to conclude for how long certificates were used. Based on this combined certificate data, we identified replacements where certificates were used for the same subject over the same IP and port. We call these certificate replacement, CR, relations. Of certain interest, we looked at same key certificate replacements, SKCRs, where the replacing certificate used the same public key as the previous certificate. So to give some sample observations. First, looking at certificate replacement categorized per issuing CA. We found that some issuers have had a significant drop in certificate replacements, and at the same time, showing a high churn with customers leaving for other issuers. Here we have highlighted semantic and geotrust that clearly shows this trend. On the other side of the spectrum, we find examples such as Let's Encrypt that shows the highest customer retention and a stable level of CRs. Changing our focus to management or mismanagement, we looked at gaps between validity periods, meaning no valid certificate was observed between the period of other valid certificates, as well as certificates being observed before or after its corresponding validity time. For the whole duration of the study period, we see a trend towards decreasing gaps, effectively meaning an overall trend towards better certificate management. We also see that the change of issuer tend to increase the gaps, meaning that management seems trickier if changing certificate authority in contrast to staying with the same issuer as before. Looking at reusage of key, uh, we observed that SKCRs um, using the same keys, we don't see much of a difference between issuing new keys or reusing the same keys as the previous certificate. Diving into different validation types, we see that organization validated and extended validation certificates tend to be the best managed. With individual validated, we see that they are the worst in class. However, they are not being used that much. Finally, we observed a substantial difference between issuers 
here highlighting some issuers whose certificates tends to be misused the most. We also observe some effects of automation. Here we will exemplify with Let's Encrypt that offers automated solutions for replacement of certificates. First, we note that Let's Encrypt exclusively offers certificates with 90 days validity, in contrast to several other issuers with different validity times. Secondly, we observe that close to half of all certificates from Let's Encrypt has a 30-day overlap to the next certificate, meaning that automation helps ensure control of the overlapping periods, which then should be possible to tailor according to your needs. Thirdly, we observe that the 90-day validity and stable overlap in combination with reducing the same key leads to stable same key certificate replacement chains with a linear increase of aggregated validity time of that key. All these characteristics are strongly tied to the issuing CA, as we see in our study. So for our proposal, previous studies and a number of proposed solutions shows that there are insufficient revocation measures in place. This leads to potentially uh, having web user being vulnerable long after a certificate has been revoked. There is also an ongoing trend towards shorter validity periods of certificates, the latest being 398 days, effective since September 2020. So we propose a solution where automation can overcome the previous challenges of replacing certificates frequently, together with short-lived certificates as part of a parent-child scheme to solve the overhead on certificate authorities and certificate transparency. Here, we have summarized everything in an illustration of our proposal. The parent certificate has the validity period of certificates used today, and it's also the one uh, logged to CT logs. During the validity period of parent certificates, uh, shortly child certificates are issued with validity periods that can be so short that they effectively comply with revocation requirements even if the ordinary revocation mechanism does not work. The child certificate has two phases. The first being a guaranteed phase where no revocation checks are needed. And the second being a probable phase where revocation checks are recommended. The exact length of all validity periods and phases is possible to adjust. And we have made some proposals in our paper. So to conclude, with this paper, we have made two main contributions. First, a characterization of certificate replacements, revealing useful trends and insights into how management of certificates varies. Secondly, we propose an efficient solution to the problem of revocations by utilizing short-lived certificates in a parent-child scheme. More findings and details can be found in our paper. I really enjoyed this opportunity to present here at PAM, and I look forward to enjoy the rest of the conference together with you.